Um, and one thing that I realized is that I was praying to God for all these great coaches and business builders and people who like love this and are just on fire and want to share it to the world and all this stuff. Megan loves me. I so appreciate you, Megan. Have no idea. Um, and, it, and yeah, and Megan, your sign is right here. I, I have so many things about Megan. The day I was about to leave for summit, she sent me a card that's on my kitchen table right now because I look at it like every day. And she sent me this because she knows that. And um, it was incredibly well timed because all the hits kept coming on me. And I literally felt like um, I didn't know that I was going to be able to go to summit. And it was like 10 hours from when I was supposed to be on a plane. And the mail came. And she had meant to send it the week before. And it just goes to show that um, God is in the details. Because um, he's in control and can use it. And it was perfectly timed. And it was a card about, like, what a difference I've made in her life and all this stuff. And, and here she's a coach that I actually felt like I completely botched it up um, for different reasons. And so I was like, wow, the fact that she is, like, that she feels that way and that she's saying that, it was just incredible. And those are the, some of the gifts that coaching brings into your life. It's just amazing. And it's part of why I'm really passionate about what I'm going to share about tonight, because coaching just continues to bless my life in ways that I just, I couldn't believe, but most of all by you guys. So I really realized that I want to, um, there's a scripture in the Bible about how he who is faithful over with the little things will be made ruler over much. And I felt like I was praying for these big things and these, you know, to be this 15 star diamond and coach and have all, and, and yet, I didn't feel like I was being as faithful to all of you as I could be. Now, I can't sit here and grow your business for you. Um, I can't do a lot of things that would be awesome if I could. And I can't answer every question for every person in my down line. What I can do is empower you ladies to take charge of your own businesses and to um, be, believe in yourselves and to help fuel you with that belief because you know that I believe in you. And to take the time that you are willing to invest in your business and match that effort for effort and make the most with it. You guys know one of my weaknesses is I'm a talker. And so I'll hop onto a live and be like, we're going to cover something real quick in three minutes and 20 minutes later, I'm still on. And what I don't like about that is that you guys have a very minimal amount of time to grow your businesses because I want you to keep your priorities intact while you're doing this. So I want you to be able to have that time with your husband your kids and work this into your life. And if you have a coach who's spending 30 minutes of time collaborating because she like, like loves to talk, that doesn't actually align with my mission for our team. So I'm going to show my team and show you what I'm moving forward. I'm going to make these team calls count. If I'm going to ask you to show up for 30 or 45 minutes to be on a training, then you are going to get the best from me. I stressed over this call. I spent a lot of time thinking about this. I listened hours worth of different things to put this together for you guys so that you don't have to do that. And I really hope that it helps and adds value. And I will continue to do this moving forward with our team training so that you guys are getting the best from me that I can give. Um, and if there's ever a time that I feel like I don't have anything all that amazing to say, and we don't just want to hang and chat, I, if I find a call from a coach like Bonnie Engel in our new coach university, I couldn't do that better. I couldn't say that better. I couldn't make that any better. There's no one better than the, like, the top coach pretty much in the network to share that with you. And so I just posted her video. Um, and so that's something that, that will maybe randomly happen to you. But I know that at the end of the day, you guys signed up under me. Or if you are under one of my coaches who was under me, um, this is your team. And what, what I know what I needed is I didn't need my coach to have every answer in the world. I really, looking back on this three and a half year journey that I haven't had a coach, all I ever needed from her was her encouragement on the times that I got really down and wanted to give up and to know that she believed in me. So I want you guys to know that each and every one of you, I see you showing up. I see Brandy's post this week and her putting it out there and I'm noticing. I see Gina sharing workout videos like she never was before and stepping out of her comfort zone. I see Carrie posting in her, I see Angela, I'm sorry, hold on, rocking her stories and showing up with two babies under two who are obviously just off their rockers right now. Let's just call it for what it is. And mine is too. And she's still figuring out how to do this and adding value to the team and being a team player all the time and doing things that no one on this team really knows how to do. So God love her, glad she's here. Carrie, somehow working this into the mix of everything she has going on with her health issues and her marriage and her mom and moving to maybe Arizona and a crazy boss that I can't stand that it would probably be him. And then like, you know, and she's somehow figuring out how to do this in her life. And I see, and Megan who's coming back and recommitting and Amanda since she left Summit is like blowing everything up and doing these things that she was so afraid to do and pushing past every fear and putting herself out there. And it's, you guys are doing it. So I'm really proud and let's go make this 30 minutes that we have together, like do the most that we can. So get your notepads ready because I'm on a mother effing roll because I took Energize and I didn't work out. So it's all coming out at you tonight. Okay. So let me pull up my slideshow for you. I'm going to click share my screen. 
And hopefully this helps you guys because um, I, I really, really, really. Okay, so I don't even know if you guys are going to laugh if I even know how to play this um, because this happens to me every time. I think it's slideshow. And it's why it's so ridiculous that I am a leader of a team. And if you ever question your ability to lead, just remember that if I can do it, you can do it. So can somebody seriously know? You guys are all muted. But if I have to play it like this, I'll just play it like this. But I do know that there's a way to actually hit you from the beginning. Yeah, or that. And then just hit use your arrow keys. Okay. Okay. So I one big thing that I took away from Summit that was a really big shift is so often in this business, we, we know about Emerald. We know like what it is. It's getting two people signed up under us with a discount membership. They don't have to actually want to coach. They're just locked in to get the 25% savings. Um, no big deal. But most of the times it can seem like this big deal. It can seem like this like mountain that's so far off and we can see other people hitting that and being like, why am I not there? Um, and then we can hit it and we can all just get really easily focused on diamond. And diamond for me seemed so far away. It seemed like something I was never going to get to. It took me about nine months to get to diamond. And I remember thinking like, it was so hard. And looking back, diamond was actually really easy. And emerald was almost nothing. But when you're in it, it seems really hard and overwhelming. And so I want to share to you why that is and how we can simplify it. And to let you guys know that getting to diamond in your business is nothing more than emerald. Everything in this business is emerald again and again and again and again. That is it. There is nothing more. Those 15 star diamond coaches that you see and you think that all these things and these blogs and these websites and these forums and this Instagram thing and da da da, there is nothing to this business more. If we can strip it down to hitting emerald and then doing it again and again and turning around and showing your coach how to hit emerald again and again. That's it. That's all you ever need to do in this business to be wildly successful. So if you overcomplicate things like me and overthink everything, there you go. We could probably end the call now, but let's keep going. Okay, so I'm going to start every call really quickly, um, like I used to when I used to do my PowerPoints and stuff. And guys, I mean, this is a ridiculously simple PowerPoint, but I did click record, didn't I? I did, thank God. Okay, so Team Fit with Faith, we're going to do this every team call because I'm going to drill this into your guys' heads because I want us to eat, sleep, and breathe this mission that we kind of came up with together that we are a team of women empowering people to transform their lives from the inside out through a faith-based approach to health and fitness, personal development, empowerment, and support. Here's why. I can, I think I double did the empowerment thing there. We can scrap that. But as we're playing with this and tweaking it a bit, but this is pretty much it. We know that our team is faith-based. Um, and it's not that we can't work with anybody who doesn't have a faith at all. In fact, I really hope that we get a lot of people in here that don't, because that's the whole point, right? It's to share the gospel. So I, I want that. However, so it's not going to be something that we clobber people over the heads with. And I hope that we never do. I hope that it's always just that we love people um, the way God loved us. And so that's what it is. It's just loving ourselves and loving, extending that love to each other um, and doing that by, by empowering others. And if you guys look at that mission statement and you drill that into your heads and you memorize it, it's going to make it really easy for you to make decisions. Um, when I went through my business in so many different times, I've had to say, you know, should I do this for this coach or should I not? Should I answer this question? Should I not? Should I, should I get on that call with them or should I not? Should I do that? And honestly, if I go back to that, my answer is there every time. If I do this for you now, like if I keep giving my kid doing this for him, doing this for him, he's never going to learn to do it for himself. So I'm the coach that likes to do everything for everyone. Part of me being a control freak, but I've learned that if I want to empower the women on my team, I can't keep doing it for them. Or they're never going to see and realize and believe that they can do it too. I am stunting the growth, suffocating the voices of my coaches by not letting them post their own posts in the challenge groups and find their own voices, by not letting them run their own groups and telling them to hey, hang out in mine, by not giving them leadership roles or having them you know, host a team call or any of these things. So it's making it much easier for me to make decisions from day to day in my business. Also, I almost pushed this call to nine o'clock tonight and thought about canceling it because I was like, can you, you can't fall into this trap again where you focus on the business more than it cannot come. There should never be a day that I'm doing a power hour that I haven't worked out because this business is different than any other business. And I have learned many times and seen many coaches fall away because they were trying to grow a business and forgetting that the entire focal point, this entire business resolves around their own journey. So our goal as a team, you guys, we have one big goal. That's our mission. And how do we achieve that mission? As a team, we are all committed to helping three people every month. We help three people get started on their health and fitness journey with us every month. And we teach our coaches to do the same. That's it. There's nothing more. And by the way, that's Emerald. And I'm going to show you that how. So our push goal as a team this year, we need to be united on this or it's not going to happen because I told you it's not a me thing. It's a we thing. I may stand up on a stage and accept recognition for our team on behalf of our team 
but our team is going to do it. I cannot do this. So I can't do this without you guys. That's our push goal. It's hairy, scary. I'm going to put it out there for you guys every team call because I need to and because I'm claiming that and I'm believing that for us as a team. Okay. Welcome to our new coaches. Um, I don't think either of them could hop on the call tonight, but Vinay and Joanna. Um, Joanna's been with me about a year as a challenger. Vinay is somebody who just recently started with the 21 Day Fix, and I'm really excited for them to get going and that our team is growing. Um, recognition for June, like I shared, Steph was our top coach. She was the highest number of lives changed, which is what this is all about, is changing lives. And Keisha, who hit Success Club in all of her first three months and achieved Success Starter and got a free ticket to Summit, which is pretty stinking amazing. And now she has no excuse not to go. Right, Keisha? Okay, so news. Okay, really, really quickly, today's the last day to save $50 on your ticket to Summit. Summit, you guys, you will hold yourself back in this business if you don't get to the events. And now the n a number of you have gotten to a super Saturday or gotten to a summit and you know, there's, there is like, it's like you drink the Kool-Aid. You feel recommitted. You feel different than you felt before you went. There is magic in that and showing up and in being surrounded by like-minded people who get you and get what you're passionate about are on the same mission. You need to get to more of those and you need to start inviting people to them if you really want to see your team grow. So find out where the next one is, find out where it is near you, invite your tribe, your posse, your grandma, your aunt, your uncle, your friend and their neighbor and get there. And, um, definitely think about your summit ticket every year. I've been like, well, I don't know when I might be pregnant. I might be having a baby. And this is like, I don't know, by the way, I'm not pregnant. Actually. Um, so it is one of those things that I feel like, um, Lindsay Notway was there guy. She pushed a baby about out, uh, was it 15 days before she wasn't planning to go and she felt like she had to be there for her team and she went. And her husband supported her. I mean, if she can get, that's the point. That's what it takes. If you want to be successful in this business, you get to the biggest event and investment of your business that you can make in a year. So $50 savings is your last. Don't think about it. Fly beat your best promo going on now. Whatever your success club number best was. When we end this call, I would like my inbox to be full with a message from each of you. So there's 11 people on this call. And I'm one of them. So I should have 10 messages tonight telling me what your highest success club number ever was of points. So that I know that we need at least two more than that for you to beat your best so that you can get your hat this month. You can get some medals. You can get prizes. And um, anyone who beats their best is going to get something cool from me too that I'm really excited that I just found. So I really want to help you guys. I know that, that it's just a cool thing. But at the end of the day, this business is me against me. And it's you against you. My only competition in this business is myself and the person that I was yesterday. So it's a really great promotion. I'm kind of all about it. The success club prize system is different. I'm sure you guys know it's going to be a hat this month. And if you achieve success club for all of the three next months, you get a really cool tank top. And if you do it for all six months, so now through December, you're going to get a bag. So, um, which looks pretty cool. Mark my words. I'll have all three because I get so driven by things like this. I don't know about y'all live for and mas y mas. It's our first Spanish program are both out. They're $10 off on promo all month. Um, team news, May 23rd is going to be the big, we have a guest speaker and we're going to start doing that much more frequently because y'all don't want to hear me talk anymore. I know that May 23rd, Macy's going to be on at 830. Her average in the last two months for success club points was 150. And if you went to her page, you have no idea. She's a beach body coach. A lot of you, I think are, that's going to be your jam and your style. Um, and I'm actually working myself more toward that as well. So I'm really excited to hear from her, just like all of you. Um, we're going to do something new. Ask Kim anything. Um, most of the time, I felt like what I, again, for my coach, I needed encouragement and belief, but I actually wanted a chance to be able to just say, hey, like I have this guy, like I don't know what to do I, this about my spouse that you guys can ask me anything about the business from what I make to what I do, anything you need from me, anything you want me to show you. Um, and our first one, we're going to do one a month is going to be at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're driving home from work, just call in. You don't need to be on Zoom. Um, and it's going to be on the 17th of July. I'm going to be playing with different dates and times and moving things around so that we can get as many people. I didn't want to eliminate people who work during the day by doing it during the day. And I also didn't want to make it something that people who are having, you know, getting home, having spouse dinners and time with their families. can make it. So we're going to try that. The next team time we haven't done it in a while where we just hang coffee, drinks, water, shakes, whatever is going to be on August 2nd. Oh, I just lied. That's not, that's my birthday. I love you guys. I would love to hang with you, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be out with my husband. So don't put that on your calendar. I'm going to change that. I don't know why I didn't realize that. I would not realize it's my birthday. Mentoring um, on Mondays and Wednesdays are my mentoring calls. If you ever need to book a call with me, so long as you are doing your vital behaviors every day and I'm seeing the effort that you're putting into your business and you have finished the new coach university, you, you absolutely earn my time. It's all about effort to me. 
um, and people actually putting the time into their business. So if you are investing that time and you are running, um, I want to run with you and you get that time. So it's any time between 5.15 and 6.15, they're 15 to 20 minute calls. Um, and I know that I, that's laughable, but I really am working on sticking to that so I can help as many people as possible. Um, Eastern Standard Time. Fit with Faith is open enrollment right now, but really today's the last day to join because we're kind of starting like a new round. Um, next week. So that's going to be once every, um, moving forward, we're going to have that, um, it's going to be an ongoing group that we're all like adding people into, but it doesn't work well for people to be added in all throughout the entire month. They feel that they're alone in their journey, that no one else is starting with them. They like, don't feel like they got, it doesn't work as well. And after reading some of the forms, I realized people really need to feel like they're either doing the same program as other people, or they're at least like on the same day. So I think having a day one that people can restart um, whenever, whether they're starting a new program or not is a good idea. So, um, I will be basically talking about how awesome our group is all month. And then I'm going to be sharing about open enrollment coming up a lot and then opening enrollment. And I'll have a form that people can fill out so that if they want to be in there and, um, there is no more basics. So it's literally just fit with faith and we'll be running like a monthly challenge within that every month. Coaches, I do need coaches to help me lead the Lift Four group. Um, there's a sex, thank you, Angela. There's a success group guide. It's really a copy and paste, so it's not really coaching. The coaching is what we're going to do in the group, um, but honestly, it's just scheduling posts. But um, that would be cool. I can post them all myself for the entire two months. But it's cool when you see other people in the group. So also, um, I know that a lot of you have amazing voices, and I'm watching you use them more, and I want you using them more. Um, so I think that we're going to put our heads together on our next team call and come up with what we think will work best, whether it's going to be a loose posting schedule or a more rigid posting schedule where we sign up for days or a week or what we think works best. Because I noticed that when I have scripts, I feel held down to those, and I feel like when life happens, I'm not free to share. To me, what the real coaching is, is like today when I wake up at, you know, eight o'clock to my kids because I worked until 2.30 in the morning and I'm exhausted and I still haven't gotten a workout in and everything in me wants to go to bed. Everything in me does not want to push play. I'm so upset about it. I could cry right now. And I have to, I have to, when I get off this call and it's friggin' hard and I don't want to literally, I'm almost crying. I'm so friggin' tired from how much I put into this business over the past week. But I'm going to make a post about that. And to me, that's the opportunity to coach. It's just because I'm a fitness coach doesn't mean it's, it's easy for me as everybody else to skip a workout and to play it small. We're going to get down the call. So I want to be able to share those things randomly in the group. So I don't like being held down to a script, but I do realize a lot of people are saying they need like a morning post from a coach. That's like day one. So we may need to schedule something in the morning. It's just like a motivational quote, something, anything where they can drop selfies below and then just have us being coaches throughout the day, every day um, as we go. So we'll talk about that on our next call. Let's get to the content because I already took up way too much time on that. Leveraging Lift 4. Hear me. If you hear nothing else on this call, as much as I want y'all to hear about Emerald, hear this. Your life is about to change if you are starting Lift 4, but only if you let it. Emily Favre is someone, if you have not heard of her, who just became an, our newest 15-star diamond coach. She was, I, I believe it was March 1st, a one-star diamond coach. What she just did is unheard of. No one in the business has ever done this. No one understands. And everyone in the network is calling her and trying to get her on calls and trying to figure out how she did this. If you went to the Beachbody Champions page, which I hope you regularly check that because it is a gold mine of training and information. That Captivate thing that's changing all of our businesses right now, that came from the Beachbody Champions page in a video. I love you, Amanda. Um, and I'm telling you right now, everything that I, I don't know how to do anything, you guys. I have no one telling me how to do this. I have no coach. You guys know that. I go there. I have had to become someone who finds the answers everywhere. Just today, just know how much I love you guys. I had to humble myself enough that I listened to a call to prepare for this from Amy Rada, who's ranked number seven right now. She's very closely aligned with our mission and her faith. And um, I, at the end of the call, it was actually a call that was live for a retreat, like the one I'm trying to plan for us um, in the fall, hopefully. And she was guest speaking at the very end of it. She's like, and you know, someone, somebody said, Hey, it's um, your new 14 day new coach university. Would you mind sharing some of the resources, like what you tell your coaches to do? And, and with it, she's like, Oh yeah. She's like, I can totally share like all that stuff for my training with you guys. If you, if you want, I heard that. And I was like, I'm sorry, say what? 
So I go message 15 star diamond coach, Jessica Pesacola. And I'm like, Hey Jess, my name is Kim. I'm a beach body coach too. I was listening to your call. First of all, thank you so much for doing it. Second of all, thank you for making it public because people like me that don't have an upline live and die from the things that are shared by other coaches on YouTube and in groups. And I have to tell you, I saw that Amy said she'd be willing to share it. Do you think you'd be willing to share that with me? Uh, she instantly messaged me back. We're talking as I was sending it. She was typing and she's like, Oh my gosh, Kim. Yes. I would love to guys. Like that's the kind of, you just got to be a self-star in the business. You got to go after it. You got it. You got it. And I, my husband was like, I love you. And that you weren't embarrassed to do that. I'm like, how, no, I've been humbled beyond all belief in this business and in my life in general. I'll ask anybody in their mind that's going to help me grow my business. So you guys can do that. Stuff. And you can always ask me anything. So Emily Faber though, the point is that, um, she went into this incredible thing and everyone's trying to figure out why. And I'm going to share with you exactly what she did on this call because I found a call that I don't think I was supposed to be able to find because it wasn't supposed to be public because they never are with all the nine star diamond and above coaches. Um, and I listened to it in its entirety. And I also got to pick Doug Moss's brain and eavesdrop as Amanda knows on a conversation at summit that I also probably wasn't supposed to be privy to, but I'm nosy and heard a lot of things that I want to share with you guys too. Also why, why you should get to events. So, um, she, said that the number one thing that she did right is she committed. She in 2017 had four miscarriages and I don't want to go into her whole story. Two weeks after her last miscarriage, she was at a low point. Her husband's like army or whatever he is. I can't remember. And so they have, a, they have a difficult life. They were in a tough spot and she started to feel like she couldn't do the one thing that a woman is made to do. And she'd never be able to make her husband a dad. And she was so low and she was so depressed. She was at the pit, like rock bottom. She's like, if rock bottom has a rock bottom, that's where I was. And I was like 30 pounds up and da da da. And at summit, it was so moving hearing her story because she was born like addicted to a bunch of drugs from her parents and in and out of foster care. It's a really sad story. Um, but now look what she's done with it. She said that her, a call came in for Ashley Molstad, her coach, who's now our number one coach. And Ashley Molstad was invited into the ADD obsession test group. She was pregnant or had like just had her baby. I think she was pregnant. And they, they said, well, if you can't do it, can you think of anyone who couldn't? She actually was like, well, Emily and Emily you guys had been a coach for like two and a half, three years. And she just sat at diamond. She's like, guys, I was one of those coaches. I just didn't really try that much with it. I was whatever. I was just coasting. I was like, okay, let me just hit SC six and like, I'm good. And then something changed. She was like, you know what? She's like, you guys, I, I heard about this. They, they invited me. They called me and I hung up the call and I went over to my bed and I sat down and I said to myself, Emily, you can kind of sort of let this change your life. And like, you can kind of sort of do this and it'll kind of sort of change your life or you can let it totally change your life. You have a choice right now. And so she said that they, um, they said to her, let me see if I can do this right here right now, because it's so ridiculous. I have to keep doing this. That, um, when she did that, haven't I already done this? Whatever. It's more expensive now. That's a ridiculous. I'm probably just going to send us another link. Okay. <laughs> so, so what she did, where did my thing go? Is obviously she decided to commit to it. But you guys, she had that moment and, and hear me. Cause a lot of you are probably already doing this. And I know I've done this for three and a half years. So I'm going to admit that. Well, my birthday's in there. We're going to be traveling to summit for this. Um, it's Easter. There's this, you know, all these things like she's like, there's always going to be something. There's always going to be something. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to really do this. And I'm going to go all in and I'm 100%. I'm not going to cheat on myself. I'm not going to take the easy way out. I'm not going to whatever. And that's what she did. She's like, guys, that's the number one thing I did. Right. Was totally commit to the program in its entirety from start to finish. And everything in this business flows from that. So I want to invite you to do that with lift four and see what that does for you and also see what that does for your business. So what have you been holding back? Where have you been cutting corners in your health and fitness journey? Where have you been backing down from the challenge that these programs and trainers and nutrition plans have to offer you? Where have you been playing it small and why? Write that down, ask yourself that and think about it and pray about it. And I want you to remember, and I, I have never in three and a half years fully committed to the nutrition part of any of these programs from start to finish. I have done so many programs from start to finish. And with ADD obsession, I said I was going to change and I was going to do it. And I did really great for two weeks. And once you let your guard down a little bit, it's really easy to do it again. And again, you have my word. I never swear. I'm mother effing not cheating on this program because I need this in my life right now. And I refuse to play it small anymore. You guys need me to be the leader that I know I can be. And I'm going to lead the best place for me to lead you by example is in my own journey. So that's what I'm doing. 
And everybody needs to hold me accountable to that S-H-I-T because I already know I'm going to need it. So remember that your business will never grow more than you do and your clients will never do or share more than you do. So if you get frustrated with your clients, like why aren't they doing the meal plan? Why aren't they did it at all? Why aren't they taking pictures? Why aren't they sharing their pictures? Why aren't they sharing their journey? Why aren't they getting successful? Why aren't they did it up? Look at yourself first. Always look in the mirror first. The speed of the leader is the speed of the pack. Be the kind of coach that you want to attract now or one day. Be the client that's the one you wish you had. That's when it'll happen. Take tons of before pictures from different angles, in different outfits, outside, inside, <laughs> wherever. Encourage your clients and coaches and prospects to do the same. Emily Favre, if you go to her Instagram page, I was amazed that she had so many different before and after pictures and they all look different because like one time it would literally just be a screenshot like this, like of like her waist in one pair of shorts and then in another. You couldn't see her head. You really didn't know it was her. And then there'd be one of like the back of her legs and like her butt, like, a, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm comfortable doing that. I'll have to figure that out, but maybe. And then there was ones that was her face versus her face. And you can see the change. And some of us have done some of those, but a lot of us, she's like, guys, there's times that I would go to put a tank top on and be like, oh my gosh, my arms, like they actually look kind of good. Like they look thinner, they look more muscular. And I would just take a, a screenshot of my arms. And I had the before picture of just my arms that was zoomed in and I put them next to each other. Let's give people different things to look at. But she's like, honestly, guys, I tell my coaches, one of the first things I tell them to do besides fully commit to a program is go and put on a million different outfits and clothes, dresses, tank tops, sports bras, everything inside, outside, get as many before pictures as you can. You don't have to share them with anyone. Don't have to share them with anybody until you're done until after, if you don't want to, though, I encourage you to share along the way. She's like, but have them because you're going to want them. And I don't know about you, but I've never done that. And I'm going to do that for a lift board. So, um, Emerald is not. So why I want to talk about Emerald tonight is because that's the key to diamond and anything else in this business. And I know a lot of you think about when we get a, a client, if they do not, by the way, we have like five and a half minutes, but it's not going to be enough time for me to wrap this. So, um, I will send you another thing in the new coach message thread with the link and you guys can talk about that. And I'll have to just upload this different recording or two, but I'm going to talk fast. So, um, the Emerald thing, this is why this is important. Um, is that we distinguish that Emerald is different than anything else because Emerald is not a skill. It's not all these things. There's no difference in your ability to hit Emerald and the person sitting next to you on this call right now. Emerald is just a decision. It's like going to summit. It's a decision. So many people focus on diamond and they lose momentum because it's so far off. Think about it. Have you guys ever tried to be like, I'm going to get rid of $10,000 worth of debt? What is it different if you say, I'm going to get rid of this $200 worth of debt? And then like, we're, like we're going to start with that. That's the first goal. And then you hit it. And what happens? You create momentum for yourself. You believe that you can do it. If you keep setting the bar too high, like if I have a client, I talked to a client on the phone last night who has a hundred pounds to lose. I'm not telling her to start with hundred pounds. Like we're talking about that first 15 and let's put a timestamp on it. So do that for yourself. Know that you want to hit Emerald quick. I need to get people quick wins as coaches or they're going to get discouraged. They're going to think it's not for them. And then what happens is they just keep floating. They're just coaching. They're not hitting success. It just keeps happening. I want to help people hit it quick and get that quick win because that creates momentum in their business. They believe they can do it. The income starts coming in. I get to shout them out and recognize them. Their people are like, whoa, whoa, she signed up as a coach yesterday. She's an Emerald today. What the heck? Can I do that too? Like it's good for your business. It's good for you. So I want to help people do that, that want it. And it really is a decision because it's your husband and your mom. <laughs> like, that's how you can get to Emerald. That's why it's a decision because anybody can do it and they can do it fast. So Emily Faber, um, her thing that to go all in, this is what she did, guys. This is why I'm telling you do this because everything else in your business will blow up when you do. And this is the perfect time because we have a launch of Lift 4. Share your journey daily. Get out of your own head with thinking, is this going to be too much? Am I going to turn people off? Oh, I did it. You're a health and fitness coach. Share your health and fitness journey. Do that unashamedly and forget about anybody else and what they think of you. If they don't want to see that, get the heck off my page because this is what I'm about. This is what's changing my life. This is what I'm passionate about. If you can't get on the bus, then get off the bus as it starts going. Unfollow me. Okay, so because those aren't your people and you want your people. So see to your people. There are so many people. How many of you were following me or somebody else or are following people that are top beach body coaches because they're sharing their health and fitness journey and it inspires you? How many of you are following top coaches because they inspire you? Yeah. So be that person that inspires somebody else and forget everybody else. Share your journey. She shared it daily with ADD Obsession. She invited people at least one to two times a week on her page and in her stories. She posted a progress picture every Sunday. I am going to do this. 
hold me accountable. I'm going to do this. I've never actually done it before. I don't love having people do that um, because I don't want them to be like obsessed with the scale and results. But if it's just pictures and not necessarily the scale, I think it's okay. I've been playing with the idea of whether I want to do it. You guys decide if you want to do it or not. She's like, guys, there were so many weeks that it, there was no visible change. I still posted it because guess what? The rest of the world, they're trying things and there's no visible change in a week or two weeks. I want them to see that I have to show up every day and do the work consistently and that that takes time. So this was part of me showing them that, which I think is kind of cool. This program changed her entire life. She is sitting here making like $15 billion a month right now. Okay, not really, but it's probably like, what is it? Seven fifty, like $28,000 a month right now. And I'm telling you, she was a, a diamond coach at the beginning of this year. If that is possible for her, that is possible for you. And that is possible for me. All this chick did was go all in with a program. We're not any different guys. So what she did say that she shares with her team all the time. What if I would have waited? Cause if you guys are not talking to potential coaches yet, this is a huge thing. And this might've been a thing with you. I have in three and a half years had so many people tell me, well, I'm just going to commit to my own journey first. And then when I get some results, I'm going to share. Oh my effing look. No, that's the worst thing you can do. If coaching is even on your mind, if you need this to be cheaper for you, you need the discount. I think the biggest you can, mistake you can make is to not share it yet. Whatever you hold back is going to hold you back in this business and in your life and tell you and in your journey. So share, share before you're ready. Do it scared. I don't care. But the most important thing that you can do is share. And we're going to get to sharing about coaching too, because that's a big part of Emerald. So, and Diamond. Um, but she's like, I cannot even imagine what, where my life would be right now if I wasn't sharing that entire 80 day journey. Cause it's why I am here. It's why everything else in my life changed. It's why I'm the happiest I've ever been, you know, 20 something pounds later. It's why I have all these coaches on my team, but I can't imagine if I would have, would have waited to share. So don't. Okay. Everything, this business that I've been trying to do this year is to help you guys simplify and to simplify for myself. Um, and I have been so overcomplicating this for three and a half years that it's not a one-stop change. It's not a light switch on and off, but I'm trying and I hope you guys see that because I'm learning that that's what I want for our team. I do see coaches at the top who have these crazy overcomplicated systems and they're simply at the top because they have a ton of people. Oh, we have less than a minute. I'm going to go send you guys um, the message. So, but I want to help you guys simplify and we need to simplify Emerald first because Emerald is actually really simple. So Keisha Ember, you guys have heard me talk about her. She has a really simple coach welcome email. I have it. Anybody who wants it, I'm going to go upload it to our team page so you guys can see how simple and easy it is. It's so different than ours. Raise your hand if our coach welcome email overwhelms you. 